Okay, we have retained another interesting integral. We've got the integral from zero to infinity of e minus x squared cosine x dx. Okay, this is actually going to be an alternative method video. I think this is my third time doing this one or fourth. I can't remember, but I got this idea from the comment section that we could actually do this using a series expansion. What I want to use on it is the power series for just cosine x. This is going to be the same thing. If we just write out terms, it's going to be 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial on and on to infinity. Now we notice that all of our exponents are even and also the denominator is even. You could look at this as like x to the 0 over 0 factorial for 1. What I want to do though, let's get this into something more compact. We'll put it into the sum notation and we can write this as minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n over 2n factorial. So let's just take this expression right here and stick this back into the integral and see what that looks like. But really I want to get everything together, so let me just distribute this inside the sum and rewrite it like that. But now let's just swap the integral with the sum right here. We can do this because we have, we're working with power series, so we have absolute convergence on this right here. And now here I just want to try to integrate this thing. Don't worry too much about this because this is just all constant stuff that we could bring out over here if we want. Now for this integral right here, I think we need to do some simplification. Let's do a u substitution. I would just want to clean up. It's kind of awkward having x squared unless you're going to be using the Gaussian integral. So what I want to do is my u substitution for x squared. Then I think what I want is let's just isolate x. So x is going to be square root of u. Take a derivative on it. So dx is going to be just 1 over 2 square root of u du. So now let's go ahead with it. And now I'll bring this constant stuff that we have in red. Let's bring that out so we don't have to think about it. So first we'll plug in infinity here. Then u still going to infinity. You plug 0 in, u is going to be just 0. This is going to be e to the minus u right here. Then for x to the 2n, you could just rearrange that with x form properties. I can write that like this. And we have a value for x squared, which is u. So this is going to be the same thing as u to the n. So we'll enter that in, copy in our dx value, 1 over here, we'll write it as du over square root of u. But this 2, let me bring this, but this 2, let's bring this way out here as a 1 half, I think. But let's take this square root of u, just rewrite it, u to the 1 half. And then we've got two, we've got the same base here, so let's combine these and divide it in. So this is going to become u to the n minus 1 half right here. But then let's notice that our integral right here, now we have this pretty much set up to use the gamma function on it. I need to, the only thing is this exponent, we want the exponent in the formula is gonna have a minus one. So if I add one here, adding one to minus half, this becomes a plus a half. I don't wanna change it, so I subtract one. And then our input into the gamma function is gonna be just this piece right here, like in the formula. Like, like in the formula I'm showing, I don't know if I have it as gamma of t, but then like this, this thing right here is going to be that t value. So what this whole integral boils down to is just gamma of n plus one half. So now at this point, we're done with integration. We have a kind of solution, but let's see if we can clean it up because we got kind of a messy series. We've got the gamma function. Let's see if we can clean this up. Let's see if we can put these together and get this to be a nicer solution. Okay, so we have our Legendre duplication formula over here to the right, and you'll notice this is perfect because it's exactly what we have in our problem, so it's gonna allow us to reduce this. The only trouble I have with it is, I wanna get this where we're working with this series, and notice here we've got factorials. Here, this is just gonna give us more gamma function stuff. I wanna get this out of the world of gamma function and back to factorial. What we can do is, what we can do with that is we can use this formula to relate the gamma function to the factorial. If we have gamma of n plus one, this is gonna be the same thing as n factorial. So I can just rewrite this formula using this and turning everything into a factorial. So we're gonna have square root of pi. This here is gonna become two n minus one. This here is gonna be the same thing, but you know what, I think I will rewrite this a little bit because we got two to the two n minus one. Let's take this two here and bring it into the numerator. And then here for gamma of n, this is pretty much this. So this is gonna be n minus one factorial. So now let me take this and let's plug this back into our series. But now here we can get some more simplification. First for 2n factorial, I can break up those terms. 2n factorial is going to be the same thing as 2n times 2n minus 1 factorial. So let me write it that way. 
And then doing that, I can cancel 2n minus 1 factorial with 2n minus 1 factorial. Cancel 2 with 2 here. Here I can take n and multiply it times n minus 1 factorial, and what we get from that is going to be just n factorial. So let's rewrite this, but square root of pi, that's just going to be a constant. So let's bring that all the way up front. So up front, we're going to have square root of pi over 2. Rewrite the sum. Looking at what we have left, this we're going to have minus 1 to the n in the numerator. We turn this thing into n factorial. Let's rate that here. For 2 to the 2n, let's use exponent properties. I can write that as 4 to the n. But now these terms right here have the same exponents. So let's combine those into one term. So then I can write this as minus 1 over 4 to the n over n factorial. And then here you might recognize this. This piece right here, this is exactly in the form for the power series for e to the x. For our formula for this, it's going to be sum from 0 to infinity. It's just going to be x to the n over n factorial. So over here, we're saying the x value, this is going to be our x value, just minus 1 over 4. So we can just take minus 1 fourth, plug it in for x over here, and put that together. So for my final solution of this, we just get square root of pi over 2 e to the minus 1 fourth, and that's it. Okay, so there you go. A really good one today from the comments section. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.